a proposal to develop a cutting-edge long-range surface to air missile system, or LRSAM has reached an advanced stage in India. This homegrown initiative seeks to establish a multi-layered defense system with the capability to engage and counter adversary aircraft and missiles at distances of around 400 kilometers or 250 miles. With a valuation surpassing 2.5 billion, this undertaking could elevate India to an exclusive league of countries equipped with indigenous capacities to address aerial threats over substantial distances. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how India is planning to develop its own air defense system comparable to Russian S-400. Let's get into the details. India has made significant progress when it comes to air defense platforms. The country has developed a multi-layered ballistic missile defense system to protect from ballistic missile attacks and has own anti-satellite weapon and also has advanced space program. India also has several short and medium-range air defense system, which includes domestically developed Akash and Indo-Israeli Barak-8. But when it comes to long-range defense against non-ballistic targets like combat aircraft, helicopter, cruise missiles, drones, it is primarily dependent on Russian S-400. In the year 2018, India signed a deal to acquire S-400 Triumph from the Russian Federation, which has a strike envelope of 400 kilometers or 250 miles. India has received three squadrons of this potent weapon. The delivery of the remaining two squadrons are expected in coming days, though there are some news of delays. LR Sam seems to have been conceptualized to reduce dependency. LR Sam would be developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization with potential cooperation from the Israel Aerospace Industries. India and Israel have collaborated on several projects till now and Barricade can engage targets up to a range of 100 kilometers or about 60 miles. LR SAM program consists of missiles, radar, a weapon control system, a vertical launcher and a two-way data link. The system will be designed to provide point and area defense against aerial targets, including fighter aircraft, as well as subsonic, supersonic cruise missiles. LR SAM will consist of three layers of surface-to-air missiles, each designed to engage targets at different ranges. First one with a range of 150 kilometers, second one with range of 300 kilometers, and the last one with a range of 300 to 400 kilometers. It is likely that the two higher range missiles will have dual pulse rocket motor. All the missiles will be equipped with a radio frequency seeker to identify, track, engage and destroy the target with high kill probability. As per sources from the Defense Ministry, the proposal for the development of the missile system is progressing well and is expected to be submitted for approval. deployment of a sophisticated integrated air defense systems is a pivotal part of the anti-access and area denial strategy. There are several factors that would be driving India to develop an indigenous S-400 alternative. When India acquired S-400, there was a possibility the U.S. government could impose sanctions. The sanctions could have come from countering America's adversaries through Sanctions Act, which is designed to deter any country from agreeing to military deals with Russia. The U.S. refrained from taking any action, but in future things may not go India's way. Secondly, for critical weapon supplies, it is not wise to depend on anyone. During a war, required supplies could be halted. For example, Russia, which is in friendly term with both India and China, could stop providing missiles of S-400 to India or both when a conflict breaks out. Thirdly, with Russia engaged in conflict in Ukraine and under sanctions, it may not be in a position to provide India with supplies even if it intends to. Air defense are crucial and it is in India's interest to develop an indigenous system with capabilities similar to S-400. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.